startups really. I'm very passionate about both. I'm very passionate about startups and uh, each idea has its own impact in different ways and yes it happened to be that way but it just happened to be that way. I didn't think that element through. I think um, I, I, gen I genuinely focus on the vision that each company has and then of course as a human being I have a larger, I feel like I have a larger purpose which uh, I want to take forward. It's a B2C and then we have got a B2B uh, sort of line as well. Um, we've got a huge digital marketing that, uh, plan that we have in place. Our social media handles are, are on. We are meeting people like amazing people like y'all, uh, which y'all are the mediators to really getting out there to our consumers. We have outdoor marketing that we're going to do as well in terms of adverts. So there's, there's a lot going. To now eventually we will, but, but within time, yeah, within time. I was 16 when the first one started, it was called Piper, mm -hmm. where we uh, were using the uh, Raspberry Pi, I don't know whether you've heard of it, it was, uh, it was invented in Cambridge to help uh, to put together this laptop for children, for young children. Um, so it's not like it didn't work out, uh, they moved, the team was planning to move to Silicon Valley and I took a conscious decision to stay back in India because I wanted to do these various things. Mm -hmm. so, the, so Piper's still going on uh, in, in Silicon Valley. I am. Uh, I am on the advisory sort of sort of panel, but uh, so it didn't it didn't fail. I'm just not part of it. And then at 17, I started Swatantra. So. Everyone knows that. I think it's out there in the public. I don't think I need to say too much about that. But we're doing things very differently, like you may have heard in the press conference as well. So we're sort of following an inventory-based model. We have a B2B as well. We're going to be a global platform, not just restricted to India. So many different things that we're doing very differently, which hopefully will set us apart and will change the dynamics um, as well. So um, we're not a typical, typical sort of, we're not following that typical marketplace. We're not an aggregator, so we have our own label as well. So we're, we're different, we're different in that sense. You know, it typically it boils down to, to me as a daughter and my parents and then my friends and family and my team uh, and that's for any individual. Um, so I think I feel very blessed that I have all these people, genuine people around me who give me so much love and who understand me and who support me in everything that I do. So that's the way I think about it. Uh, of course, coming from uh, a legacy, I feel very, um, I feel very privileged and proud and uh, I think, yeah, a, a proud in a very good way um, and blessed. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to do justice to my parents and my team and my best friends. I don't think so, you know, I think, I think, um, so for example, so everyone goes through pressure, different sort of pressures, right? It could be someone who's, who needs to get a student loan, who wants to do an MBA, so they have so much pressure. I think everyone has pressure and this is my, my sort of journey. So everyone has pressure, you sort of have to get, so it's just accept it and move forward. So uh, I don't think so. You know, my parents have also brought uh, sort of brought me up in a way that um, I follow my dreams and my passion, and you know, just sort of that philosophy that try your best, leave the rest to God. So when you have that attitude to let go after a point and detach yourself, I think things get much easier.